Let's get up to this big fire. Uh, our Robert Moses of our sister station, Fox 5, is up there. Uh, this is the port of Newark. That's right, Mike and Alex. Good morning to both of you. This is a tragic day here in the city of Newark. We are learning that two firefighters with the city's fire department have perished in this fire aboard the cargo ship, which is docked here uh, in Port Newark. This ship is called the Grande Costa di Avorio. Uh, it is from Italy, 692 feet long, 118 feet wide. The flames were quite intense. Uh, the fire started last night around 9.30. We're told between five and seven vehicles on board initially were totally engulfed. This cargo ship arrived here at Port Newark yesterday from Baltimore. As I men mentioned, it's registered in Italy. And according to Newark Mayor Ros Baraka, was carrying about 5,000 vehicles. So you can imagine all the gas and oil and rubber that was fueling these flames. Multiple fire departments from across the state of New Jersey, also the FDNY responded. The two firefighters somehow got disoriented as they were on board fighting these flames. They got trapped. They could not be saved. Other firefighters we saw brought off the ship on stretchers. They are now being treated for their injuries. We heard from Mayor Baraka earlier this morning. Our prayers go out to them, to their families, uh, to their brothers and sisters in the fire department uh, who fought beside them tonight. Uh, and many, probably many fires before this one. Uh, I saw the kind of acts of bravery and camaraderie today that's unparalleled. And, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's very, very, very traumatic for all of us here in the city of Newark, and we ask everybody to pray. And another live look this morning at the scene from above as this ship continues to burn. And it's interesting, about half an hour or so ago, we heard a loud explosion and saw one of the vehicles on the top deck in a massive ball of fire. So this is a firefight that continues some 10 hours after the fire started. As for the two firefighters who perished, we don't know anything more besides the fact that they were both men. We don't know how long they've been with the department, anything about their ages or perhaps the family they leave behind, but obviously they leave a massive void in this department and one that will be felt for days and weeks and months to come. The city is planning a news conference for later on this morning where we hope to learn more not only about the two firefighters, but also the firefighters who have been injured and perhaps what could have started yeah. this fire. But Mike and Alex, again, a terrible day here in the city of Newark uh, as the city grieves for these two firefighters who have died. Back Trust to you. Horrible. That is terrible. All right, Robert, uh, nice job. Uh, thank you.